Hello, nurses and future nurses. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on today's episode of Nurse Clement V, I am going to teach you on how to do air washout, that is air irrigation. So sit down and watch this video till the end. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Nurse Clement B. And I thank you all for your love. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the, the, the likes. Thank you for commenting. Please do well on this video. Share, 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 share. Thank you very much so when you are about to um, perform this kind of procedure be it during nursing council and midwifery free examination of Nigeria please kindly identify your patient first right so your identification of patient is very important so that you know that the procedure you are carrying out is on the right patient so you carry your folder or you check on the system and then go and ask the patient right he's uh, he's right his full name and date of birth so follow me and let's go and identify my patient good morning sir my name is nurse clements b and i will be your nurse for today please can you tell me your full name and date of birth so your name is Chiko Emekaeze, okay, date of birth, 1999, 12, right, May 1999, 12. So please, I am here to irrigate your ear. I'm going to use water, syringe, and flush your ear. Is that okay? It's not going to be painful, right? So, but it's going to be a little bit discomfort. Is, is that okay? Okay, now that I have identified this patient and I've taken informed consent, it is time for me now to set my requirements. And see, I have my requirements already. I have my syringe. You can, uh, you can I have my ear syringe. You can use this ear syringe. You can use this one to flush the air, right? And I have my otoscope here, sterile gauze tissue and incontinent part that is on the towel pad right i have my receivers I'm going to use this and i'm going to use my normal cell line here so the requirements that i need for this um procedure it's ready so i will the my requirement to the patient's bedside close to the patient's side and i'll perform this then now it's time for me now the next step is for you as a student nurse to position your patients right so i ask the patient mr chiku emekaize can you sit down please so i'm going to perform this procedure with the patient seated right so now that i've positioned my patient right i'm going to perform hand hygiene so follow me let's go and perform hand hygiene and then when i'm done performing hand hygiene i'll come and do my glove so I'm done performing hand hygiene and I'm done in my glove, right, to, to prevent um, cross-contamination, right? So now it's time for me now to prepare my solution, isn't it? So it's either you use normal saline or you use sterile water. So it's your choice or you use um, iodine, providine iodine, right? You, you can use it and mix it with, um, you can withdraw 19 mils of um, normal saline and then you can use um, uh, one mil of providine and iodine and mix them up as your solution. So this solution varies. You can use normal saline, you can use sterile water, you can use providine um, iodine and mix it with normal saline so in this case i am going to use normal saline for this procedure to irrigate the patient's ear so now before we do that before i mix my solution i have to check the patient's ear i have to ask the patient whether the patient is having pain pulse blood that is coming out from the ear, right? So I have to go and examine the ear of the patient using my otoscope, right? Make sure that your otoscope is functioning. Make sure that it has light like this. It has light like, like this. There is light inside the otoscope, right? So make sure that it's functioning well so that you can view the patient's ear and make sure that the eardrum is not broken. It's the, there is no trauma in the eardrum, right? So let's follow me. Let's go and perform and check the patient's ear. Examine the patient's ear, right? Before you do the physical examination, you have to ask your patient, which ear do you have the problem? Is it the left ear or the right ear, right? So you ask the patient, very important, so that you will know the ear that you're going to irrigate, right? So now let's... Uh, examine the patient's ear with my otoscope and to view the eardrum, right? And to view the ear canal, that is the medial ear. 
that you have to observe the pinea, the ear loop. Is there rashes or anything first? Observe it to see if there are rashes. Or when you observe, is there any pulse coming out of the ear? Is there any pulse? Is there is there blood coming out of the ear? If there is none, or if there are, if there is nothing coming out of the ear, then you use this otoscope to view the patient's ear canal, right to the middle ear. So you have to pull backward and upward to fix the um otoscope inside and view the ear canal as you can see i'm viewing the patient's ear canal to see if the eardrum is broken or it has trauma it's been traumatized right it has trauma so i've i've seen that the ear the eardrum it's okay it's not perforated so i am going to now that i've confirmed i'm going to perform my irrigation so now that i have noted uh, the patient told me that is the left ear and i'm going to irrigate it please note that if there is pain if the patient is having pain do not irrigate the ear and if the patient had had um, ear surgery of recent do not irrigate the ear and if the patient have trauma in the eardrum do not irrigate the ear too right so you have to observe that then next thing is for me to mix my solution so i'm going to use normal saline to do this irrigation to irrigate in my patient's ear i have my solution here my normal saline is in this uh, kidney dish so i part the patient's um, shoulder i'm going to use the ear syringe to perform this procedure I'm going to use this to withdraw my water, the needed water, um, normal saline. So my water is ready. I have withdrawn it. And I will ask my patient to like place this, the kidney dish towards its, its chin this way, right? As you can see, so that the patient, the fluids will not just, um, will not just pour on the patient. Yeah, after padding it this way, then you have, I'll ask my patient to hold it. Had it been, it's a, it's a human being, right? This is a dummy. The patient cannot hold it this way. So I have to support, call an assistant to support me hold the, the kidney dish. Place the ear syringe this way in the patient's ear, right? With firm pressure and then constant um, consistency, you push the water. Yes. You push it this way and then you flush the ear. Now that I am done flushing the ear, for example, in now that I'm done, I will just use my uh, gauze and then clean the water that splashes on the patient's chin and discard it in the receiver for used swab. Then I will give my patient tissue paper, right? Before I give my patient tissue paper, I will use this to like the excess water. Then I'll put it inside the patient's ear and then remove it. I clean and I also discard. Then I give the patient tissue paper to clean his or her chin also, after which I collect it and I discard it. So remember, this um, procedure, right? This procedure is being done on patients that is maybe having, maybe insects crawl into his or her ear, impacted wax, an object, that's when you perform this procedure. So it is important to know that to know the indication that which you want to perform this um, procedure, right? So now that I'm done performing this procedure, so I'm going to remove my glove and perform hand hygiene, right? So follow me. Let's go and perform hand hygiene. So now that I've performed hand hygiene, time for me to um, to document the procedure that which I have done on this patient, right? So I have to like record the. The, the time that I perform it, I record the the object that came out of the patient's ear canal, right? The middle ear, I have to record it. And also, also record when performing, uh, examining the ear, there was no pulse. Neither there was um, uh, blood coming out of the ear. There was, the eardrum was not damaged. So I have to document all this information, right? And do not forget to like, 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 share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for staying with me till the end of this procedure. I love you all. Bye-bye.